Ministry of Children and Development, and we are continuously updating them based on new information, new evidence. What are those reports? Whether it's patient management, whether it's protecting healthcare workers, whether it's uh, diagnosing cases, all of the guidelines are being reviewed and updated based on emerging evidence. We need to recognize that this is a new disease, right? So WHO, uh, together with a network of global partners, is trying to understand the disease and how best to respond to it. And it's a process that we are going through. Dr. Ravi, given all the information that was given earlier and that another relative is also with the RAPM, what's the likelihood of a local transmission? How do you see it this time? Uh, it may be that you are seeing local transmission, but we need to be clear that it points to the fact that the patient has acquired the disease in the Philippines. We don't know the point of contact, whether it was from a foreigner or whether it was from a local contact or from other contaminated source. Uh, we also don't know whether that patient has transmitted the infection to other people. So at this point of time, we are not sure whether we are looking at an isolated case or we are looking at a cluster of cases. But a cluster of cases does not mean that you're having widespread local transmission. WHO recommends responding to a case, defining a cluster, and managing the cluster. So we don't talk of community transmission till we clearly know the extent of the cluster. And only if we are seeing widespread transmission beyond the cluster that is not localized, will we talk of community transmission. We are not at that point at this point of time. What is the recommendation? There's no reason to move now. You just have two additional confirmed cases, right? Sir, so the, once the uh, relative of the fifth case tested positive, could, it, could we say that it's already a local transmission? Even the fifth case is a local transmission, but getting another case in a very close contact does not mean widespread transmission. We know that this disease is transmitted upon close contacts. So this is a, this is a clear local transmission. This, the, the, this case. both these cases, as secretary said have acquired the disease most likely here, right? But why why did you say that there is still no need or it's still premature to raise uh, to the fourth or code red? Because we need to see extensive transmission. We are not seeing that. We just have confirmed two isolated cases in two different localities of the Metro Manila. Can we just right. get a clarification? Because as a query, wasn't able to answer it very clearly earlier. Um, what are the challenges that you see in terms of contact tracing the people, especially for the fifth case, the fourth case, and the three foreign nationals who have also been here? What are the challenges? I, I, I don't think there are special unique challenges. The only issue is that we have five cases that need to be followed up, but because of different geographical locations. There are the different teams of Department of Health personnel following up on the cases. So it makes it more complex that there's five simultaneous teams that are doing follow up. But other, besides that, I don't expect the number of people because the, the one in the Muslim prayer hall, a lot of people go to the Muslim prayer. So I don't know how many people go there. So we can't comment at this point of time. And we don't know whether there are the symptomatic people. Right? Given the incubation of the virus, shouldn't there be a recommendation for, for the public not to use go or frequent the prayer hall? No. On one case, that would be overreacting. Again, can we can we can we just tell us?